the original plan was we were going to just um, check the parking lot and see if we could find any vehicles or anything that you know match what we were looking for um, like i said at this point i don't think the marshal service really thought we were even on the trail anymore and um, later in the evening they were like well, let's just try this one more place and um female came to the door and we asked her if anybody was else was in the residence and she uh, she said well my boyfriend's back there and, and some guy i don't know and uh every day you go to work and think yeah it could happen to anybody anytime but it's just like people say all the time you never think it's going to be you and I actually got into law enforcement by accident, and I was like, yeah, I'll try it, why not? I mean, I, I always trained hard, but it wasn't until after this that I realized how important the, the training was. When something bad happens, you're doing the right thing and you don't have to think about it. Um, there was a, um, a wooden dresser, and he was basically posted up against the, the wooden dresser with the shotgun and fired one round. It, struck me in the chest. I mean, I was probably within a foot of him firing a shotgun at me and didn't even hear it. Close enough that the barrel was able to burn me. Things slowed way down. I don't know if it was the impact, but um, basically I kind of fell back in, in, into the door frame. When I got on the floor, I, you know, my first thought was he's gonna come back out to, to finish the job. So at that point, I pretty much knew, okay, I'm here by myself. As I was running out the door that I saw a, a shell casing from a handgun on the ground right by the door, I guess they were shooting over my head while I was laying there on the floor. There was just a little bit of blood, but you know, not that bad. So I'm like, okay, I, I mean, I'm not dying here. So I was gonna retrieve my entry vest and realize that it's in the back seat and the doors are locked and my rookie has the keys. I tried to call out on my radio, um, but there were so many people trying to give an update. So I actually took my cell phone out of my pocket and I called my uh, sergeant at the time. I just told him, I said, I've been shot, um, I'm fine. I, in our business, you learn who you can trust and who you can't trust. And those were the people that I wanted there. A U.S. Marshal that was actually on the other side of the wall from me basically tells me, you know, we need to get you to an ambulance. And that doesn't bother, it's not bother me right now, so I'll worry about all that when I get done, you know. A um, couple moments later, uh, there had been another male subject in the in the room. He started hollering out that he was he was coming out of the apartment. I told him to, you know, lay down on the ground and start crawling towards us where we could keep an eye on his hands. And the actor started firing shotgun rounds through the wall of the apartment, grabbed a hold of him by his arm and started pulling him over towards cover where I was at. And that was actually the first time that I hurt. Maybe a little worse than it looks, you know. While I was doing that, he basically came to the doorway. We started ordering him to the ground. I was actually the first one to him, got him, put handcuffs on him. Of course, the whole time I'm doing this, my lieutenant's like, no, we gotta go to the ambulance, you know? And I'm like, just let me finish doing what I'm doing and we'll, we'll go and went it through and we cleared the residence just to make sure that, you know, it was safe and there was nobody else in the, uh, inside the residence. And Thank you.